Okay guys, so I came out today with um, a very specific idea of what this video was going to be about. Uh, the weather forecast was absolutely zero cloud, no chance of cloud at all. There would be no cloud, there would be clear skies. So I was going to do a video all about how to uh, kind of make the most of those clear skies. Not only just clear skies, but boring skies and, and different things that you can do. Um, but what's happened is we've got some clouds, so all of the compositions that I kind of plan to use for these uh, clear sky images have got clouds in. Um, so the video is no longer about that. It's about, well, it's about whatever it's about. It's about me out taking pictures. And I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. <laughs> Ah, oh, I give up. Um, if you enjoy this video and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. <laughs> Okay, one option when the sky is boring is take it out completely. Uh, sorry, it's a bit windy up here. Uh, I'm standing on a cliff overlooking a, a drop off down to some rocks and that down there. We've got some waves coming in, breaking on those rocks. And by using a long lens and zooming in on the scene, I can just make it all about the rocks, the waves, and a little bit of light and shadow. So I've got the 70 to 200 lens on about 130-ish millimetres, zoomed in on that scene down there. Now F11 and ISO 64, that's giving me about a 30th of a second. So I'm going to drop in a six-stop ND filter and that should let me get, well that's going to get me to about two seconds, but what I might then want to do is bump my ISO up to get to about a second which hopefully will give me some nice texture in the waves. We'll uh, drop the filter in and see what happens. Okay, sometimes opportunity smiles on you. Two guys have just turned up right in the scene that I'm photographing to set up to do some fishing. So that adds a little bit of extra to that scene which I quite like. Yeah, I'm going to take a few shots here to try and capture the best of the waves. So normally for shots like these, I put my cable release in so that I can time the shots exactly for when the waves are breaking. But uh, if you watch my last video, you know my cable release packed up uh, and I did order a new one, it arrived yesterday and it was faulty. <laughs> so uh, I'm just having to use the shutter release button on the camera. Okay, I'm shooting FA ISO 100 and half a second just trying to capture the waves
one of the options you can go for is to actually embrace that blue sky, use it as a load of negative space. Um, and what I plan to do is use this tree here with a completely clear blue sky above. But I got lucky, there's just a little bit of white fluffy cloud in there. So I've set up a shot, I've got the camera pretty low down because I want to get the bottom of the, the, the tree, the bottom branches of the tree above the horizon um, because you can see the sea through there. Some sort of shrubby stuff in the foreground, blue sky and a little bit of white fluffy cloud directly above the tree. 35mm f11, 140th of a second, focused on the tree. Really simple, but it works. Okay, so this video was turning out to be completely not what I set out to do. This video was supposed to be about dealing with completely clear skies, or at least boring skies. Um, and of course, typically as soon as I do that, every composition that I had in mind to demonstrate that has got clouds in. So uh, that's okay, I can live with that. Um, so it's actually going to be more about, uh, I don't know what it's about actually, it's just about whatever it's about. I'm going to do a shot of this tree. Again, it's the same tree that I've just been shooting, but from a different angle. I'm shooting straight towards the light. I'm using the tree to block the actual sun, because the sun's still pretty high. We're still 50 minutes, 45 minutes from sunset. Um, but by using the sun to block the tree, I get the nice shape of the tree. And there's a little bit of nice cloud around there as well, typically. Okay, I've got in close to the tree, so I'm um, at 16 millimetres, angled up, camera low down to get the, the bottom branches up above the horizon. There should hopefully be some quite nice shadows leading into the tree. Yeah, there is. Um, the tree itself, which is kind of swept across to the right by the prevailing wind, so the trunk is is off centre to the left and the tree has got this kind of wedge shape going across and then some pretty nice clouds coming in actually and then with the sun behind the tree blocking the direct light that actually looks pretty nice 1 1 25th of a second f11 iso 64 16 mil focused on the tree Okay, sometimes you just have to try and quickly set up and get a shot, even though you haven't really thought the composition through. That's what I've done here. There's some really nice cloud patterns coming in over the hills over there. I did manage to very quickly get a shot while there was still a bit of light on the foreground. It's a fairly simple composition. All I've got is the, the, the track comes in from the bottom of the frame and it kind of winds down and around and off into the distance. And then we got the sky up above, you know, the hills and the sky.
Okay, so I've hung around for a bit after sunset. All of the colours have faded. Um, I don't think anything else is going to happen now tonight. So I'm going to pack up and head for home. This video has turned out to be absolutely nothing like what I planned. So the planned video of you know what to do with clear skies, boring skies, will come at some point in the future when I get the inclination and the conditions to do it. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please consider uh, giving it a like, sharing it on social media. Leave me a comment, of course. If you're new here, don't forget about hitting subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.